I didn't go in debt to be disrespected on my graduation day, okay? That's At a school where you had gotten a scholarship. Yes, I don't have time for this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Roderick Martez back again for another video. And today we're gonna be doing a weekly vlog. So this weekly vlog is very special to me because I actually am graduating next Monday at 5.30 p.m. from the University of Michigan, Dearborn. So I'm like super happy. Um, I woke up today in a really good mood. I'm gonna be finishing my last final exam today. And yesterday I did four of them and the class that I was having trouble with, which was statistics, I think I did really well. Like, I actually think I did really well. And she drops your lowest test score, so my lowest test score was a 56, so I know I did better than that. Um, so everything's good. Like, everything is really good in my life. I actually just got a job offer, like, my last day of undergrad, so that's, like, crazy to me. And yeah, I'm in a really good mood. I'm about to go grab tacos with my friends. I look a complete mess, but that's only because, like, haven't done anything in my hair, haven't shaved. Yeah, I look a mess, but um, I'm gonna go get tacos with my friends, and yeah, so I can't wait for you guys to experience this week with me. <laughs> All right, bye. What's up, guys? So I still haven't done my last final, but I'm in Mexico town because, what is it? Tuesday. Mexican town because it's Tuesday and it's Taco Tuesday, so I'm probably gonna get tacos right now and later tonight. That's just how I'm feeling. It's a celebration. It's giving very much margaritas, so I don't know. Say what's up to my brother. What's up guys? You've seen him before, but um, yeah. Yes, we're going in there. I know the last Definitely time I was talking to you guys, I said that I had to do my final exam, but I messed around and got hungry, and it's really not due till eight in the morning, so I'm gonna do it when I get home, but me and my friends decided that we were going to go. I am gonna do it. I have to hurry up and get out of undergrad. But we decided to go to Mexican town, and now we're at Mi Pueblo. Can we start the table off with and yeah. water? Sure. Thank I'll you. Right okay, Bye. thank you. And my brother Taj is with me, and Gabby, and then the other Gabby's here, but she is in the bathroom. So. It's all her business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna get tacos and celebrate my fucking graduation. Did you tell them about our journey for Bira and Is this what you're trying failed? to give? But you're not giving this. That's what I'm trying to give? He looks like he doesn't give straight stand up, so he looks like he's giving scoliosis. So while you're talking about <laughs> while you're talking about what I do, don't worry about it, bro. That's why that fucking sweater that he has on is from last season. This is so I, it's cute. Excuse. First of all, why is he giving scoliosis? He's handsome. Is this the mild one? This one is this the best one. We wasn't talking about that face, we were talking about that spine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god. It's <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god, you guys never hear me talk like that. Mm -mm. I always keep it cute. I'm never that mean in real life. Okay. Bye guys. Oh, they done hurt you, bro. It's not hot, it's just plain, but this it's one is nasty. better. It's I just finished my last final last night at 3 a.m. Um, so I feel great. I don't exactly know what grade I got on it, so you know, I don't really know what that is about. However, I do know that I passed the class because I got all the short answer questions right and that was like most of the grade and then out of the multiple choice, I got half of them wrong. And I didn't even feel like arguing with my professor because it really doesn't matter, I did good in the class. It was digital marketing and content analytics, so I think that honestly, since he wrote the test himself, he might have just made a few mistakes, but there were certain like things, like he asked a question about like the 411 method on social media where basically it talks about how you should post content, and one of the words in the question was like collect content, but it's not collect content, it's about posting content, and that's how you stay relevant on social media. So. I just, I just, I didn't really care. I mean, I, I, I honestly don't because I feel like I got a really good grade on my like class project and that's worth more than all of the exams combined. So I just really said F it. And because like I'm done with school period, I just don't have the time. And I think I told you guys before, like my GPA is actually like pretty good. 
Like, I don't have a 4.0 or anything by any means. With the whole pandemic and the fact that, like, if I do bad in a class, I can make it pass or fail, I really didn't care. Anyway. And let me just say one thing. It's not even the fact that I'm graduating that makes me happy. It's the fact that I am done with school and I am not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back at all. And I'm not going back because, like... Unless somebody is paying for it, there's no room for me in any type of college class. Like, no, not at all. So I'm about to go get my hair cut and I'm getting my hair cut the day before I get it colored because Jordan forgot that he told me that I could get my hair cut on Thursday, which is the day of my pictures. But who wants to get a haircut like before they get it dyed? It is what it is. Oh, and mind you, then Jordan has the nerve to ask me to bring him Starbucks. You know, I don't really say much because Jordan is like my brother and he cuts my hair. But bitch, the nerve. I can't even get my hair cut on the day I want to, but you want me to bring you Starbucks. Mm, it's okay, ridiculous. I got a very berry refresher with lemonade and honey sweetener, but um, on my way into the shop, I'll talk to you guys there. My hair will no longer look like this. All right, All right so I just got my hair cut and I'm extremely happy with it. You guys might be seeing my eyebrows that look a little crazy, but that's only because I didn't do that. They look good now. Thank you, Jordan. Where you at? No problem, we got to cover. As always. I'm really happy that I'm going on this journey with you guys, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm way more happy now than I was in like any previous vlog. Like, just, that weight of not having to like check in to see if I have anything due. So refreshing. So refreshing. Okay guys, I just came on here to say good night. Um, I'm going to bed. I did end up getting my graduation stole, so I wanted to show you guys that, but I'm actually just going to show you in the morning when I wake up because, you know, it's late. It's like almost 4 a.m. and I've had a long day. So I'm going to talk to you guys in the morning, but yeah, bye. It is Thursday, April 20th. <laughs> it is Thursday, April 29th. Okay, so I am about to go to the mall and I am about to like grab some stuff for my photo shoot. Then I have to get my hair dyed at noon and then I want to show you guys my graduation stole like right now. That little dog is about to irritate me because she hears me talking. That irritates her when she's in the cage because she feels like if I'm talking, then she should be a part of the conversation. But that's where the hoe messed up because, bitch, you're going to be in the cage because I'm leaving. Like, this is what you get when you have a small dog and they're spoiled as hell. But yeah, I have a long day ahead of me. I have to clean up my room, too. Like, you can kind of see it in the mirror, but I'm not going to show you too much because I don't want y'all to be thinking, like, this is how I really live because I don't. Um, so I really want you guys to see the stove because it's so cute. Oh, my God. Isn't it so cute? So I wanted to use this opportunity to also shout out my sans. For those of you guys who don't know what a sans is, it's somebody who crossed at the same time as you. My sans, Tiffany, she has a apparel business called Timeless Masterpieces, and she is the one who designed my stole. She did all of this herself. It's beautiful, I know. So I just want to let you know how, like, how efficient my sans is. Like, period, glitter logo. She's so sweet. You guys need to shop with her. If anybody is graduating, then I suggest you reach out to her. And she's always booked. So make sure you do your shit early. And that's just on period. But anyway, my stole is beautiful and I couldn't be more happy with it. All right, y'all. So I got my hair colored. And this time it's not as red. So I'm very happy with it. I wish that I would have vlogged in there because I could have showed you guys London and introduced you guys to her. That was one of my high school best friends. I love her. But I'm extremely happy with my hair color. It's a little bit shorter than it was last time. And I'm about to run in the mall and grab something. Uh, like I said before, I still haven't found my outfit for my graduation photos today. But I did go to the mall before I started getting my hair colored and i got a shirt from zara i didn't really they didn't have shit they that, basically that's the thing they really didn't have shit so i got a black button up and i think that it's very much giving turtleneck and slacks for these pictures but other than that i want to get a u of m dearborn sweatshirt and then i want to just wear my stole and that's really it but i don't need to do a lot for graduation pictures i really don't okay y'all so i am very much in a rush i have not like done the little bit of makeup that i'm going to do i just want to cover up all these little blemishes and i only have like what 
22 minutes to get out of here so I kind of have to hurry up I'm stressed the fuck out I'm very very irritated that I only had like this outfit choice you know I always do a cute little black number that's very much so myself but like come on now I didn't want to do turtleneck and yeah, I didn't want to do that but I do have like a button up in my uh, car so like all black button up if that's what is given then that's what it, that's what it's giving but in about 12 or 13 to 15 minutes I'm gonna be done with this shit and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get in the car. So yeah. I'm here at the grass shoot with my brother Dan. He's taking the pics. I'm really happy, like my fucking dimples are showing and everything. My best friend is here. How vain can you be? <laughs> We're about to shut shit down as usual. Top notch. So me and my best friend are going to dinner because you know, why the fuck not? I'm celebrating all weekend. You know, come Friday, every single day after that, bitches are gonna have to scrape me off the ground. <laughs> Until I graduate. <laughs> oh, so I'm right now? Yeah. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for subscribing. I don't know how you do this. I'm about to go get food. All the stuff with graduation is handled, it's set. My stats grade just dropped today, so I actually got a C minus. Which is crazy because that's like the highest grade I've ever gotten stats the first time around. I really thought that I was going to fail the class. I thought that I was going to have to take it in the summer, but I don't. I am all set. I'm all good. I am graduating and I'm done with fucking undergrad. Um, I'm actually about to go get my second dose of vaccine because <laughs> I have to be vaccinated and that's just period i i'm just tired of this shit just like us all so yeah and you guys can meet deuce he's a big ball of sunshine so deuce deucey deuce come here come here why are you acting like that any other time when I say come here, you want to come? Are you just going to sit there? Now I want to take your toy. Now what? Mm -hmm. Hey. Deuce. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Get up. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy! Paw. Good boy. Basically, give me my shit, bitch. It is time for me to like leave and go get this vaccine and then, I think this is where I'm gonna take my video for my Q&A. This is like a cute little area. So I just picked up Pixie from the groomer and she's pissed with me. She is so pissed. But she's cute. She's not even giving me kisses right now because she's so upset. Like, she can't even believe that I would leave her in there for that long. Like, it's ridiculous. Hey guys, please excuse my room. So today, since I'm graduating, I think the best thing to do is getting my skin ready. And I've noticed a lot of you guys have asked me like, what have I been doing because my skin has been clearing up and it has. So one thing that I've been doing is really being consistent with my skincare journey and my skincare regimen. One of the products that I've actually been like religiously using is the Gleeman Vitamin C Clay Mask. I know you guys have probably heard of it on Instagram. It's this yellow mask. It comes in a really cute box. It looks like this. Let me see if it'll focus. And this is what the actual mask looks like. So it's like really cute. A lot of people know of it. And the mask works wonderfully. So the main ingredients in this mask are going to be vitamin C, which helps with dark spots and evening your skin tone, uh, turmeric and aloe. And one of the really good things that I love about this mask is that it's cruelty free and vegan. So I've been trying to use a lot of natural products or things with natural asterisk abstracts natural extracts. So before I use it, I usually just put steam on my face 
You guys may have heard that like steam makes your pores open up and I really like doing that before I apply any mask but particularly this one because whenever I use this mask my skin immediately seems like the skin tone is more even. The mask goes on great because it comes with this little brush and it just like does the job immediately. This mask has been a lifesaver. Um, if you guys have ever listened to me talk about my skincare journey, the main thing that I have problems with is hyperpigmentation and this mask clears up all of that. I mean, of course, with like the help of my dermatologist and all of that, this mask is like a great supplemental product to use. And I'm sorry, cause I'm like looking in the camera while I'm putting this on, but like I need a mirror and my viewfinder is like the best thing. One of the best things I found with this mask is that it really helps with like inflammation. So if you're somebody who gets a lot of breakouts, this mask will be best for you because the turmeric and the aloe vera calm your skin. So they have anti-inflammatory properties. And you only want to leave this mask on for about 10 minutes because after that, it's done its job. So <laughs> it's going to give what it was supposed to give. So I think we're pretty much done. Now we have to wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry. I'm going to show you guys the results, but I'm telling you, every single time I take this mask off, my skin is glowing. Like they chose a perfect name. Gleeman is the way to go. This mask is great and it's affordable. I'm going to make sure I link it down below, but you guys will see the results in a second. All right, guys. So this is my skin after I've taken the mask off. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely see it on this viewfinder. So I know you guys can see it, but my skin looks so much more even. And this is before I've put on my toner, before I put on my moisturizer, all of that. Like this mask is the truth. And when I tell you that it really helps even out your skin tone, it really makes you feel good about yourself. And when you take this mask off and look in the mirror, you're like, oh my God, I got new skin. Like that's what it feels like. This mask is great. Um, I hope I said this before, but please excuse my room. I've been going through a lot as you guys have seen in this video school is a lot and adjusting to like not having to do any of that stuff anymore is just it's a lot my whole life is changing but yes everything will be linked down below in the description and you guys should definitely check out Gleeman and tell them I sent you today is the day guys I graduate today I literally am so happy I like can't even believe it like I really can't believe it um I woke up extremely hungover so it is currently 2.09 and I graduate at 5.30. I have to take Pixie home. I think I have to go to the mall. And I really want to get my nails done because I don't want to graduate looking like this. But um, if not, that's cool too. But I'm like the worst, um, what is it called? Procrastinator. Uh, I'm like the worst procrastinator. And you know, the way my time management skills are, I might not make it. I might not make it. So yeah, I'm about to gather my belongings and get ready to go. But you guys are gonna be with me the whole time I'm vlogging all today. And I don't know, I think I mentioned this before, but can you guys tell that I'm like way more happy? Like now that I'm done with school, I'm extremely happy. And Pixie is once again being a needy bitch. So mm, can I have a kiss? Okay y'all, so I told y'all I'm house sitting for my brother, right? I want you to look at how jealous Pixie gets. Come here, Deuce. Come here, Deuce. Look, look, watch this. She is just not having it. Hey! Ah! Hey! Hey! Ah! Hey, Deuce! Ah! What are you? I can't rub him, girl. I can't rub him. I can't rub him. I can't rub him. She is so mad. Ah! Ah! Look, it's not even about the toy. It's not even about the toy. Look at this. Let me see. Let me see. Uh -uh. Come here, Deuce. Come here, Deuce. Hi. Hi. Look, she's back. She's back. Now she's mad. She is. Ah. She. Oh. Are you cussing me out? Are you cussing me out? <laughs> she's crazy. Ah. Pixie. Shh. Shh. I have had enough. I have had enough of that barking. You will not do that. You are not a dog that barks. You don't do that at home, so you won't do it here. I graduate in an hour, and I finally just got dressed. I threw on some clothes. I tried to go get some California's Pizza Kitchen. I order a Caesar salad with blackened salmon, and they didn't give me no Caesar dressing. I called, and the manager said he already refunded me before I got home, so I checked my bank statement. It was back in there. But luckily, I still have food at the house, so I'm good. 
Okay, so I'm in the car with my mom and my granny, and hello. <laughs> hey, granny. <laughs> so we're going to the ceremony now, and um, just like me, of course, um, I'm late to my own graduation. Um, it won't be by like more than five minutes, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twenty-seven minutes. No, five thirty. Yeah. I can't even believe this. Last year it snowed in May. I don't remember that, but it might have been. It was because I was out of state at that point. Uh -huh. Can you Oops. Eat the coffee? Rooks? Rooks? Uh huh. R O O K S. Mom, how do you feel? Are those people over there? Uh, Is that the hair going? Mom. Yes, I, I feel great, Roger. I should have worn it. So there's a card there? Here you the go. Card. Roger, oh. look. The white cards, I think we're going to get to the announcer when you get up on stage. Okay. okay. All right. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Because they need to be able to say my name correctly. And it's the moment you've all been waiting for. You may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Good. Michigan alumni family, congratulations, and go blue. Woo. Y'all, I really think that I'm about to cry. It's really, really sad. And I'm trying to breathe we will very hard. Ushers have already started calling up graduates and the guests to the stage. We will start with the back rows and move forward. Don't make me cry now. Please remain seated until the robe now. is called up. You are dismissed after you I think I have to go up. Please take your oh, this is going to be too much. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I brought you here in a stroller <laughs> when I was here. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Not I was here 23 years ago. How you doing? Oh, I have. I had to vlog it. I had to vlog it. He got it all. He got it all together, young man. Love yes. It. Do I just walk? Yeah, right there, right there and face the front. Mr. Roderick Hooks the second. They definitely said my name wrong. <laughs> and I have an attitude about it. <laughs> Mr. Roderick Hooks the second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they said my name wrong. I want to do over. <laughs> you want to do over? Yes. I can't believe he didn't even turn around and say nothing. He was like, uh. <laughs> I had to do it again because I was very offended that they said my name wrong so I stopped the lady and I said I need to do it again I need to do a redo because that is not how you say my name and it is my day and I feel disrespected so we're gonna handle this Roderick Martez Rooks the second. So they said my name wrong and I went up there a second time and I told them, I said, this will not be the video that you show anybody. You're not gonna show my kids this because that's not the case. I am going to be famous one day. So I will not So have you don't want nobody pulling up that old tape and it says hooks. Yes, and that's not my name. So you're gonna have to correct that. I walked up you the stage, he the said man there. <clears throat> yes. yes. I walked up to the stage and he said, um, didn't we already do that? Yes you did, and now you're gonna do it again because that is not my name. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Please accept my apology. I said He was like, yeah. Would you please? Would you please accept my apology? <laughs> Pretty much. Because you better get it right. <laughs> and I said, and you wanna know what now? You have to say my whole name, Roderick Martez Rooks the second, and that's period. And what did he say? He did he it. He said okay. <laughs> he said the whole name. I didn't go in debt to be disrespected on my graduation day, okay? That's... At a school where you had gotten a scholarship. Yes, I don't have time for this. 